What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Byte which is basically just Vine 2.0. Now this is something that's been getting talked about for like years upon years at this point just like this idea that a second Vine was going to come around but it's never been something that actually came to fruition until yesterday when Byte came out and this was something that pretty much took it seems like my entire timeline completely by storm and I'm assuming probably yours as well because this hit the trending page this has become like it's become just an infestation of pretty much everybody and the entire internet at this point. I mean, the app store is just getting lit up with downloads of this app now and people are posting all kinds of screenshots of their name and everything on this app so people can go follow them. There's people posting the content that they're already putting up on this app and everything. I mean, it's just been a complete hellstorm of different stuff coming out since this has all started to, I guess, unfold. Now, when Byte actually came out and everyone started talking about it and they said that this was the new Vine, I was kind of confused because obviously I remember Vine. I mean, I think a lot of us do if you're not like two years old watching this video. Pretty much all of us remember Vine because, I mean, it was so big and there were, even like if you didn't use Vine, you knew what it was, right? Because like it had all of the different compilations and stuff here on YouTube where people would basically just take all these Vines from the app and they would make compilations of them for 30 minutes, put 9,000 ads in them and just completely, uh, you know, profit. But the app was obviously really popular back during its initial run and everything, but when everyone was saying it was the new Vine, I actually didn't think that they were being literal when they meant that. I thought that this was just sort of like maybe some sort of new app that was kind of like Vine that people were saying, oh, this is the new Vine, because obviously like whenever a new YouTube competitor kind of uh, starts up and does its thing, people are like, oh man, this is the new YouTube. For instance, like when I started OpTube and everything, which there's a link down below if you want to go check that out, you know, shameless plug, but uh, when I started that, everyone was like, oh my god, this is the new YouTube and everything and I mean it's not really but with that being said uh basically this is actually the second vine like I'm not BSing you when I say that this is an actual reboot of the vine brand so apparently this app has been basically kickstarted by vines co-founder Dom Hoffman and like I said this has been like a years-long process that this whole thing has been going on I mean I remember there was like whispers of a vine successor coming along I mean back in like what 2017 I mean it's been a minute now but nothing obviously has ever really come along until now. So, I mean, it, it has basically the same thing that Vine was going on with it, you know? I mean, you can, like, upload or you can record six-second videos, and that's pretty much the basis of the content. It's nothing like YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or anything like that. You're not gonna see a 15-minute long video like you might see on my channel. It's just short, you know, bite-sized content that you're supposed to enjoy at, like, a really rapid pace and everything. And, I mean, it's a cool concept. It always has been. It's something you can pick up and put down pretty much at whatever pace you want to, you know? I mean, six seconds is so easy to split up. I mean, if you're in the middle of watching a YouTube video and you gotta leave to do something, it's pretty it's pretty shitty to, like, put a video down when you're in the middle of it, right? But, I mean, most of the time, you can wait through six seconds of a video and then you can get off of an app. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool concept. It always has been. And it was something that made the original Vine so popular and such a great idea in the first place. It was so popular because of things like this, these unique concepts. Concepts. At least it was a more unique concept at the time. Now, obviously, the competition that Byte is going to be seeing compared to what Vine saw is going to be just a little bit different. I mean, obviously, it's got to compete with, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, and all the other major social medias that basically Vine tried to compete with. But it also has to compete with something else extreme that Vine had nothing in comparison to at the time, and that is TikTok. The thing about TikTok, though, is the clips are like a max of, I think it's a minute, so the content isn't necessarily the same. I mean, you might see longer videos on TikTok, and then at the same time, the apps aren't exactly the same because Byte is a little bit more like the original Vine than TikTok might be. So Byte comes equipped with a standard social feature, like, you know, you got your feed, the explore pages, the notifications, you got profiles. Although right now, Byte lacks remixability, augmented reality filters, transitions, transition effects and the other bonus features that you're going to find in an app like TikTok because you already know that over on TikTok you can basically do whatever you want to a video to make it, you know, do all these different crazy kinds of things. You can record yourself 
twerking in the mirror or whatever to some goddamn song and augmented reality comes out, I don't know, and you transition to another clip where you're dancing actually up on the sink and then next thing you know, I don't know, you're in the living room. It just, it, it's those kinds of things, but you don't really have that kind of thing going on on Byte. It's just, they don't really focus on you editing up the content and making like these quote unquote masterpieces. I want to use that word, not a, not too strongly. I mean, pretty loosely because it's just, it's hard to describe most TikToks as masterpieces if we're being really fucking honest with ourselves here. But anyway, yeah, you don't really focus on making insane content with Byte. It's just, you make something really quick, maybe something creative, maybe something funny, a little look into your personal life or whatever, and then you move about your day. I don't know, people bully you in the comments or like it or loop it or whatever it is. I I don't know. It's something like that. But now here is what is basically being banked on to make Byte different and actually attract people onto the platform from like TikTok and all these other platforms that basically replaced Vine when it initially went down. Because Vine, when it collapsed, all these people who became stars on Vine, who actually built careers off of all of their content that they were making on Vine, actually moved over to platforms like YouTube, Instagram, places like that, because, I mean, they actually had brands built around them at this point. Vine actually shut down. It wasn't like it just, you know, was deleted off the App Store overnight. It actually shut down gradually. But anyway, what they're hoping is going to differentiate Byte is an early focus on helping the content creators make money, something that TikTok and the other micro-entertainment apps apps largely don't offer, so apparently the app plans to soon launch a pilot of the partner program for offering monetization options to people proving popular on Byte. When asked if Byte would offer ad revenue sharing, tipping, or other options to partners, Hoffman told them that we're looking at all those, but we'll be starting with a revenue share plus supplementing with our own funds. We'll have more details about exactly how the pilot program will work soon, which obviously now everyone is going to make a Byte. Everyone and their mom, their dad, their brother, sister, uncle, cousin, aunt, grandma, grandpa, dog, cat, bird, anything is going to be making one of these. I have one of these things too. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. If anything, I have no idea. I mean, I guess you can follow me if you want to. I don't really care if you do either way, but chances are I'll probably just post like memes and stuff on there. Now with all of this news coming out, obviously, and not even just the fact that it's going to hopefully have this partnering program or whatever, and that people are actually maybe going to be able to make money directly through the app. Just the fact that there's actually a Vine 2 basically was enough to send everyone just basically into this app. I can't wait to see maybe some analytics or some numbers that show how many times this application was downloaded in the first day on the App Store and on Google Play Store because I'm pretty sure the numbers were pretty insane. I mean, the numbers had to have been just astronomical because, like I said, it was everywhere. At one point, like, I saw kind of trickles of it. I saw some people posting it, and like I said, at this point, I was like, oh, okay, so there's like an app kind of ripping off Vine. Didn't necessarily know that it was actually Vine 2, but then literally within like eight hours, the entire timeline on my Twitter was people posting screenshots of their profile trying to get everyone to follow each other. So within like the next few months, I would be surprised if this application didn't go down two different paths. Like I feel like there's really only two paths that this app can take from here. And the first one, which I think is probably the more likely one, is that this app is going to explode into popularity and it's actually going to compete with all of its rivals like Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, etc. Now the reason I think this is obviously because, well, people are going to see the money potential in it. I mean, any anywhere where there's like a money potential, people are going to kind of naturally flock to it. So all these people who already built their, I guess, brands and careers off of Vine, like the, you know, the Lance Stewart's, all these other people who basically were all these Vine stars and stuff, went to like Instagram and YouTube and stuff, they're probably already getting onto this platform. I actually think this article says that Lance Stewart in specific is already already on the platform, but you already know that Vine stars of the past, you know, are, are just going to be flooding this app because it's essentially a chance for them to get back into the game, which means that people who are reminiscing on the Vine days, which let's be honest, a lot of people do. I mean, it was a really good app. There's a lot of funny memes that actually did originate on Vine, a lot of funny compilations and stuff, a lot of funny jokes basically from Vine. So there's probably going to be more of these kinds of things coming from Byte, and this is all just kind of, kind of, I would say, contribute back into the popularity of the application. And of course, the brand recognition helps, obviously, it being literally Vine 2 definitely helps. It not being a knockoff would definitely, I would say, help. I mean, if it was just some knockoff, 
knockoff app, yeah, it would have a chance, but I think it would probably be a lot uh, less likely to do well if it actually was. But then you got to think about the fact that it's offering things that, well, its competitors just don't. And I'm not talking about, of course, in terms of the content creation, because I think eventually it will end up implementing those features like the transitions, the editing suite, all these different things. Eventually, they're probably going to try and catch up. This is probably just like the initial release stage where they're just trying to get everything out and get everybody back into it. But when you think about the fact that people now on TikTok aren't making money directly from TikTok, and of course, they're getting like ridiculous engagement and stuff, but they realize that if they just port their audience over to this app, they could be doing that. Yeah, you're going to be trying your best to be getting onto that application. I mean, you would think logically, right? So this might be a good opportunity for this application to take talent not only back from its you know, predecessor in Vine, but also from the newer talent that has grown from like TikTok and stuff like that. So at one point, Vine reached like 200 million active users. Who knows what this application is going to end up at? I have to imagine that it's already reached a pretty good amount of users. I mean, probably in the millions, if not tens of millions have already signed up, but it's going to be interesting to see because from my perspective, it's just another place for me to kind of go on every once in a while, kind of shit post a little bit probably. The chances of me ever being monetized on there are not very high, but you know, I'll just probably go on there, drop some memes every once in a while. I'm just kind of worried, um, more or less that the TikTok kids who like make the cringy stuff that like make TikTok kind of weird are going to end up finding their way on there and kind of making, you know, the weird content there. And so I'm going to have to be posting like funny memes and like shit posts next to people who are like just not self-aware of what they're doing. And I don't know, it just, I don't know if that's just really something I want to be involved in. So it's kind of like an ecosystem. I think I'm going to have to try and watch from afar before I jump too deep into it. I just kind of wanted to, number one, get my app secured because I know that there's bandits out there that try to steal ads and stuff like that to troll, sell them to people, things like that. I didn't really want that happening, so I made sure to grab my app, but also I want to make sure I have an account to watch things with. I don't want to just sit there and be that guy who doesn't have an account or anything like that and be that weirdo. So who really knows where this is all going? I guess the other path that I never mentioned really um, throughout this entire thing, obviously there's the growth path, but this could also just be something that gets hyped up for like three weeks. They never find a way to implement any of these new features. They never find a way to implement any sort of monetization and basically attract people who actually want to make content for the masses onto the platform. And then with that, of course, well, it'll just shrink up and and shrivel away because something that's not profitable, yeah, it's probably not going to stay around for long. But I mean, that's just one way. I don't really see it going down that path, if we're being honest. I really do think that it is going to stay on course and do something pretty well. Of course, it's just my initial thought thoughts on it. But of course, I would love to hear what you guys think about it. What do you guys think about Byte if you're already using it? If you're not using it, what do you think about it? Comment section down below is open as always. Thank you guys for watching though. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at sub to Optimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. It's a surefire way to get notifications of all my newest content. Join the Discord down below. Lots of great things going on down there as well. Make sure to check out OpTube. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. Of course, I guess, follow me over on Byte if you're interested. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, watching this whole thing kind of develop and signing out.